to another edition of the Quarantine Sessions with Ralph BB and the Elephant Collective. Um, this is your twice-weekly uh, dose of um, uh, dark and miserable folk blues to uh, um, hopefully provide some catharsis for the ongoing blues. And because it's Monday, we are doing the acoustic show tonight. Um... That one, um, I imagine that most of you will recognize. That was a, uh, um, a song originally by Nine Inch Nails, as filtered heavily through uh, Johnny Cash's interpretation. And I shall follow that with one um, from the forthcoming EP. This one is an equally cheerful number called Bodies Back to Crow. Oh. 
crooked tree and there you watch a girl who nestled in its roots and hid her sorrow from the world her amber flowed into its veins and bitter seeds were born and as they spread as I shot red Sue, cheers, Joe. A very good evening to you both. I hope you're both well. And the rest of you, hope you've all had a good weekend. Um, as I say, that one was um, a tune from the forthcoming EP, uh, which, if you're interested, is now open for pre orders. Um, I'm just going to pop a link in the comments in case you're interested.
Yeah. Um, and I shall follow that with another one destined for said new EP. Um, uh, this is a uh, rather less uh, bleak tune um, called Lilith. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you very much. That was uh, Lilith. Um, oh, a very good evening to you too, Russell. Good to see you. Hope you've been keeping all right. Hope the new shed is working out well. I will try and get you another bass track at some point this week. Yes, um, oh, Joan, I am very excited about the violins. Um, I got the, um, well, firstly, for those of you who don't know, um, the, uh, the whole thing with the EP is it's actually a double EP. Um, because I couldn't make up my mind whether to do a, uh, another acoustic EP, like the first two, or whether to bring in some other instruments. And um, so I decided to hedge my bets and record it uh, two different ways. So there's going to be an acoustic side and an electric side. Um, and I've just got the um, violin. I, I got a violin track back from um, a, uh, a friend of mine last week. Um, I didn't realize he was actually going to do a violin track and a viola part for me. Um, and um, oh, they sound wonderful. Um, so. Um, yeah, I am I'm very much looking forward to sharing that with you um, because he's done a lovely job with it. Really elevates the uh, the whole song. Um, uh, and yeah, actually, it's been good fun mixing it. I've, ne I've never mixed anything in earnest with uh, with strings on it before, so um, so it's been a bit of a voyage of discovery. But um, um, uh, it, it helps that the, uh, the the raw material he sent me sounds superb as it is. I haven't had to do too much work to it. Um, but yes, um, look forward to sharing that with you at, uh, at some point soon. Um, that's excellent news, Russell. Glad, <laughs> very glad you're enjoying the shed. <laughs> right, more music. Um, so that was a couple of new songs. I'm going to go right back to the distant past um, with the um, song I used to play back when I fronted a, uh, a blues trio, or a sort of blues trio. Um, 
it's what's called silence. Time for a yes, um, sea shanty about uh, being dragged down to the uh, the bottom of the ocean by um, um, deceptive mermaids. <laughs> Speak up her intent as a sailor's lament. Will you follow? And no soul is secure from the open arms of you. Will you follow? If you linger too long, you'll be caught in her song. Then you'll have to pray the love will sing. several songs I've revived if you tune into enough of these you'll hear me make reference to the uh, the old blues trio days back when uh, when I first started uh, fronting a band actually it was, uh, it was a bit of a learning curve um Just had a very slow writing process. I think by the time uh, by the the time we last played together, I think I'd only written like nine songs for the band, and we'd been together for years. Um, like so, you know, lo 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 lots of others, just in the pipeline. We just never actually properly managed to finish them, and so we ended up with like yeah, as I say, nine songs. There was a tenth one, which um, we actually started jamming at one of the last sessions we did together, um, and uh, that eventually got revived as Animal, which was um, the the first single I did with did as uh, Ralph Beebe and the Elephant Collective. Um, what can I say? I like recycling. Uh, oh yeah, um, yes, Russell. The mixing process has been. Uh, 
challenging, but um, I feel like I'm learning a lot. Um, it's been, um, yeah. Um, I think clarity has been the um, the biggest challenge. Um, I've got a lot going on in a couple of these mixes, and uh, it's just, um, yeah, trying to work out um, what to do to just uh, create a bit of separation, stop getting too muddy in the middle. Um, I probably just need to work out which frequencies to actually, uh, um, which frequencies to cut out a bit or, um, or cut back on to bring it under control, tame it a bit, but also without losing the, the punch of the right instruments. Um, I'm sure you know more about this than I do. <laughs> Your mixes always sound so much better than mine. <laughs> right. Yeah, isn't it just? <laughs> right, time for another tune. This is, uh, well, actually, this will be the most overtly bluesy one I'll be playing tonight. This is uh, On the Road Again.
it's time for another new one. Um, this one's also uh, going to be on the new EP. It's called Friday Night. <laughs> I'm just going to take this opportunity to put the um, to pass the virtual hat round in case uh, um, you're feeling so inclined. These sessions are free and will remain free. Um, um, but um, yes, obviously, uh, uh, think of this as the uh, as, as the juggle hat being passed around the uh, passed around the bar. 
towards the end of the band set. Um, the sessions are free, but uh, but any uh, any contribution uh, is always welcome. Uh, so uh, that there is the tip jar. Um, yeah, thank you very much, Joan. Yes, um, glad you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, 80. 80 shows on Friday. Um, <laughs> it's there or thereabouts anyway, because I've, I've gone back and uh, and reviewed some of these and realized that um, yeah, some of them may have been um, miscounted or mislabeled. I'm sure, I'm sure there are two episode 43s or something. Um, uh, I'm sure I mislabeled 76 as 73 or some, something stupid like that. Maybe it was in the 60s. I forget now. Uh, you know, they say if you can remember the 60s, you weren't really there, but um, I don't think that applies to, to the episode numbering of the uh, of these live sessions. Anyway, thank you very much for, the, for tuning in tonight. It's been lovely to see you. Um, just a reminder that uh, we will be back here on Friday at the same time, same place, um, doing the electric version of uh, this kind of thing. Um, so do join us, uh, uh, join us again for that. Uh, and uh, I shall leave you with one more tune. This is uh, the track from the first EP called uh, When I Have the Blues. <laughs> I worry, sometimes I need to grieve, baby don't just cry, beg me not to leave, when I have the blues, when I have the blues, I know life ain't perfect, I know life is a fair, but maybe sometimes Once again, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, as I say, I'll be back here on Friday. Look forward to seeing you again then. Until then, um, just remains me to wish you a very good night.